standing on deck of the boat uh, in the water is a kind of a dream come true. What comes first to mind is that uh, typically uh, a race yacht would be built in a shed somewhere out in the world and you only have four walls and you have set to set everything up to, to build a yacht. A great project full of innovation, a way for us uh, to exceed also which were our limits. At Nautos Swan we are very proud of having completed the construction of the Club Swan 125 Scorpios. This is going to be a milestone in the history of yachting and we are very grateful to the owner and the team of this fantastic yacht for having entrusted Nautos Swan to create this boat. The project has been amazing and uh, the opportunity to gather in our uh, company some of the greatest uh, boat builders and designers and technicians uh, around the globe. And uh, the result is uh, astonishing. We are looking forward to seeing this yacht uh, uh, delivering success and uh, fantastic results around the world. For us, uh, this project has meant, uh, is meaning uh, and has meant a lot. A construction with uh, the most advanced and uh, an experienced team of boat builders in the world, top quality project managers, incredible designers, uh, engineers, uh, and here we are, uh, it is a reality. For us, uh, this means uh, kind of entering in a world of top performance with our Club Swan line. And this one is a kind of the flagship in all respects of our yard. It's an incredible achievement and we look forward for a lot of incredible performances of this beautiful boat. With the brief to be a very fast super yacht for, let's say, inshore racing. But as we were developing the project, the brief changed because everyone, the owner first of all, realized the potential of this yacht in terms of a record-breaking machine. And so here we are, uh, the brief is changed and the boat has been developed to be very successful in offshore racing and attempting records around the world. So the Club Swan uh, 125 is a, a boat designed, conceived and designed for performance. And so the boat is uh, extremely light, under 60 tons. In order to achieve this performance, we also, uh, which contributes to the boat being very lightweight, uh, we've done a canting keel uh, with a fairly deep draft. But the fact of having the canting keel allows for the, um, to achieve the required writing moment with a much smaller bulk and therefore uh, uh, remaining uh, very light, as I was saying. Once you have a canting keel, you need to uh, have another appendage to produce the required side force, and that is provided by a C-foil, which is a hydrodynamic asymmetrical C-foil, uh, hydrofoil that actually can be tacked to each side of the boat, which uh, also sailing in uh, reaching and downwind condition, the foil provides a vertical sustentation and sort of gets the boat out of the water into a, a sort of skimming attitude. And the boat has two rudders because uh, it's always sailing uh, heeled and therefore uh, uh, there's a very efficient uh, rudder to leeward. The windward rudder in this case will be out of the water. And so that it provides a complete control uh, of the boat in every uh, sailing uh, condition. Now we have built the Clubs 125 uh, with the best boat builders uh, uh, available, both internal and external, and also together with the best subcontractors out there in the, in, the, in the business. And this all in a fully fitted modern boatyard like Nauta Swan. And while it has been a privilege to do all this at Nauta Swan, it's also been a, 
a learning for us to get quickly out of our comfort zone and adopt to the latest developments in the business. Like with the other swans, when people have put their heart and soul in the project for a very, very long time, I can guarantee that there will be tears falling when this yacht sails away. Swan's design and uh, performance specifications for the 125 mandated the need for a race boat construction using uh, unidirectional pre-brakes and honeycomb cores. Now the biggest challenge for us and the build team was to take the knowledge that we've gained over the last 30 years building Volvo and America's Cup yachts and then scale that up for a boat of this size and complexity. Club Swan 125 has been an exciting and challenging project to meet all the owner's requirements to put together a multinational build team and then to link all of the sailing systems together with the four spreader masts, the full set of furling sails and then all the deck hardware and sailing control functions from the hydraulic side including the innovative sea foil which is hydraulic controlled as well and it all is showing up well in the sea trials today. The 125, it has been a really an exciting project for us uh, here up in Finland. It will uh, for sure leave uh, a hole in our life because uh, we had no one day without the excitement uh, to have uh, behind our normal cruising yachts uh, this, uh, I like to, be, to, to call it this beast uh, to produce. I mean, a, a collection of uh, extraordinary competences uh, coming from uh, all over the world this all has been uh, possible here up in Finland, thank you to the facilities that we could offer to this project. Uh, because, I mean, uh, you, you plan a lot, uh, you design a lot, uh, but uh, with a so difficult and so complicated uh, project, uh, you have also, very often, you have last minute update, last minute uh, uh, improvement, uh, uh, and, and the fact to have uh, so an up-to-date and, and complete facility he, he gave us a possibility gives the project the possibility to progress uh, in, uh, in a solid way. Now the yacht is leaving, uh, there are very uh, challenging target in front of it. Uh, we will not uh, separate us uh, from the project uh, because uh, this uh, kind of boat will uh, need uh, to have assistance uh, and uh, we, are in, in the, in, uh, we are well set, organized uh, to follow the boat in the next uh, stages uh, of uh, the, the, the adventure.